Hey everyone, we are back at it again and today we're going to learn about sitemaps. So before we even get into creating them, we're going to talk a little bit about the anatomy and why they're so useful. And yes, they are still useful. So the big question is, people still use sitemaps? Of course they do. It's not just limited to information architecture. Everyone should use sitemaps, especially designers. They help provide structure for your product. Like look at this. We have the primary navigation, our secondary navigation. We can really plan out all the different navigation schemes within our product. Sitemaps help a lot. So what are they? Sitemaps are hierarchical diagrams of a website or an application that shows how pages are prioritized. I want you to think about the last lesson that we went through. User flows that we did prior are kind of like a street view of what we were discovering in terms of like how the user should achieve goals and where we discovered different types of content we needed. You remember this user flow over here. This is making a purchase. And we discovered a lot of different things. We discovered like the different steps that it took to actually complete a purchase. We discovered different types of micro interactions, all the different close up details that we didn't necessarily know before. Now, a sitemap is essentially a bird's eye view. This way we can take an early glance of what our product looks like from the treetops. So when do we use sitemaps? Well, Sitemaps are generally used in the beginning or really early on in the design process, like right after discovery or kickoffs, right after you get all that information from your clients or from your product team, kind of like what we're doing right now with application that we're trying to build. They'll really help us when we need to start working on our wireframes.